Hey guys, I Pioneer with another figure review. This time we're finally reviewing one of my figmas. This one right here is Avenger Avenger Jane Dark Alter, commonly known as Jolter. This right here is her Shinjuku outfit version from the Epic Remnant Shinjuku Singularity. And going from the box because technically speaking, I already have my Jolter already out of the box because this right here is actually one of my earlier figmas that I actually bought all the way back uh, a couple years ago. Back this actually is one of my earlier and technically. I would say cheaper Figmas, if I'm going to be honest in saying anything, as is right here, is uh, one of my delving into, like, going to, like, my anime collection right here. This one here is one of my fa favorite figures. The other two uh, of my earlier Figmas that I got was uh, Full Armor Mordred, basically Mordred in their armor, and uh, Lancer, Lancer Skahawk. Uh, what's it called? But this right here is Jolter during her uh, outing during the Shinjuku uh, Singularity event, during the Epic of Revenant. And the other reason why we're doing this review is also because Jolter also got her animation update. With her sprite being updated and her MP being upgraded too, which is goddamn beautiful. I might, uh, I probably will be doing a little uh, video uh, video uh, recording of her her launching MP because it is very beautiful if you haven't watched it. Everything fired up, her close up right here and her face is like, it's so goddamn glorious. Jolter is one of my favorites. She is my favorite and most powerful DPS unit in Fate Grand Order. And the, and the one I go, always go reliable when I need, uh, if I need to hit an opponent hard, she's the one to do it. But, with that out of the way, folks, let's go with the accessories that Jolter comes with. And we're back, and this is everything Jolter comes with, with her accessories. First things first, get out of the way, out of the box. We got the, uh, so she is using currently a stand. This right here is the stand that she comes with right here. Uh, the one thing I always love about all the fake ones, they come with their own stands, which are actually pretty good. These are three millimeters. Uh, uh, stands right here so you can put them in any figure or model kit that has a 3 millimeter peg. Also comes with a little tension piece to be able to do a little bit much more different kind of poses. Uh, which is always good, especially for somebody who does also Gunpla reviews and whatnot and actually likes to do my Gunpla poses. I mean, so many of these uh, Figma stands are actually pretty great because sometimes the Gundam stands that they come with are not the best. I mean, they're good. But I kind of don't like them a lot. The Figma ones are actually a little bit much more better and they're more suitable. Though I do prefer them more in my figures and whatnot just because they're a little bit much more uh, simpler and easier. Uh, going out of the other accessories, the Figma bag, which is always great. So once you're done uh, putting your Figmas and whatnot, you can just put all the accessories in here, which is always great. Also, now what I'm going to do after I'm done with this review is actually put the name on here because trying to find her accessories bag was hard. Though I do know how who who and what they look like but i have a bag full of basically just figma bags just trying to figure out which one was which it was also a little bit difficult then right here was the little tiny bag right here which actually has some accessory right here has a little extra straw right here for the uh for drink soda drink that she comes with so she can actually hold that one up which is pretty great because one of the moments in the game is basically everybody going to the burger joint and getting uh, burgers and sodas also has a little extra uh hand joint here in case one of the hand joints break Talking about the hand joints, uh, what's cold? All Figmas always carry multiple hand hands. As you can see right here, we got some open hands. We got the holder hand for the sodas. We got the holder hands right here to hold the weaponry, which her main weaponry is her sword right here. We got some closed palm hands right here. We got another uh, multiple manipulator uh, posing hand right here. And then the extra two hands that she currently has right now on her, being her two open hands for uh, regular poses and whatnot. And this was cold. Then we got her multiple faces. You can see right here. Here's her uh, Sundere. Here's her Sundere face right here. I'm, I'm calling this one the Sundere face. What's it called? Let's see, can you see this? Yeah, you can. Sorry about that. It's just being a little bit. Her little Sundere face right there. Then we have her angry face right here. You can see right here. Very, very angry. This is when she gets angry for us multiple times. Then we have her awesome sword right here, which, not gonna lie, it's probably one of my favorite swords in the game, and probably design-wise, it's kind of like a double-edged uh, French sword. Looking pretty nice in design. Actually, one of the other things, too, what I actually like about all Figmas is their weaponries do come apart, so you can actually attach them to... You can actually attach these to the hand with no problem at all. See if this goddamn sword decides to actually might have to move people who are in the way so I can sh actually see this. Come on. If the sword refuses, 
Sometimes it's not the story, it's also the camera being kind of annoying just because the way I have my display stand for this. We should do some modifications for that because a lot of times, ah, there we go. You can see right there, the sword looking pretty nicely designed. Sometimes it's always annoying trying to get the sword be in focus a lot of times. But let's uh, go do what I was talking about. So actually one of the benefits of having the blade, the weapon being able to like come apart is when you have a hand joint right here, you can see this is a holder hand right here for the swords. You just slide this in right here. You can see right here, I'm sliding it in. No problem at all. Now it's in there, no problem. You can see right there. Now you attach the blade right there to the holster. Also these are done and boom. Now the sword, now the hands in the sword hilts and no problem at all. And without having to damage the hand or the weapon itself because I have other figures who don't have this gimmick and I've either damaged the hand a bit or the blade or weaponry broke and I had to fix it with a little bit of hot glue and whatnot, but that's one of the sad things. But it was but those are fixable with a little bit of repair work. And then as I mentioned, she does have her drink, sodium pop drink, so she can be drinking it. Right here. And you see right here during the little box right right here. Uh, what's it called she has her drink right there plus also different poses that she can do which i might try which i will be doing later and then let's go back to jolter with the overall figure uh what's it called she comes with her with her face right here her base face which is basically always angry face at you always her awesome jacket because this is her shinjuku outfit so she's trying to be a little bit more modern during the uh night outing so it's all pretty looking good her legs being perfectly fine her boots are pretty good these are long boots you can see all the belt buckles and whatnot, pretty nicely designed. I really do like her jacket design with all the puffy one, whatnot. I kind of do like it's kind of like similar to one of my denim jeans, uh, Dean jackets, because the whole uh, puff whatnot, looking pretty good. Overall, her design is pretty great. I do love this outfit of hers, pretty great. But now, was the now that's the accessory that Jolter comes with and how she looks. Now let's go with the articulation for the Figma figure. When we're back now. Let's go with the articulation, going from Jolter's head. You can see right there, she can say what's been around because she is on a bow joint right here. I can see right here. Actually, let's do a little bit more on the uh, articulation and whatnot. Because I, I don't know if I'm sure you guys are removing the faceplate because right here, for all fake most they have these removable faceplate right here. This right here shows you how you're able to replace the face. Uh, it comes off right there. And also remove the head too in case you want to because these all fake most are right here are all on bow joints right here. You can see right here. Bulge on right there for mobility and whatnot. In case you want to swap out uh, face pieces right here, you cannot do so many face pieces with different characters. I am trying to f I am trying to get myself one of the Kono Super ones for uh, Aqua just so I can have the faceplate because the funny faceplate right there. Then you reattach. Now you put the new faceplate on there. You reattach the face, and now boom, new faceplate looking good. So you have the different ex uh, facial expressions for characters and whatnot. I can do it with all of them too. All of them are interchangeable with no problem at all. Uh, her head's able to bob up and down, no problem at all. And we saw the head spin. It's right here. Pretty good. Then we have her arm. It's able to go all the way up. Down. Spin around. No problem at all. It's also on a bow joint too, right here. You can see right here. Uh, little ball joint right there. Um, these big uh, joints are a little bit more finicky. They're kind of like these, uh, kind of like these uh, ocular rolling pins, ball joints. So they're able to move all the way over here. Ah, you didn't see that. So it's called they're able to bend all the way. No problem at all. It's all pretty good. Then the hand, they would rotate. No problem at all. And since these are in those little handy joint things, so they're able to move up and down. No problem at all. Pretty great. Same thing for the right arm, spin around, bend, bend all the way, hands able to move, no problem at all, up and down, no problem at all, getting angry, <laughs> oh, no, that's kind of funny, final flash, sorry, I've been, I've been, I've been dragging about, I, I've been dragging about mine today, uh, re-watching some of the, uh, Cell Saga and whatnot. Uh, what's it called? She, she does have, uh, I want to call these ab joints more like torso joints, like upper, uh, upper chest joints right here. 
she's able to spin no problem at all because this is all on the ball joint actually right there you can take off which i'm not going to because uh i'm not experimented with that yet uh but she is able to spin not all the way she does not have an uh, average one like someone some of the new figmas actually kind of do uh, specifically the new version of medusa which i do have because i have the old version and new version of medusa uh, so the new one's actually very possible we'll get to that one eventually uh, then it's called her legs are able to go all the way one of the things about uh, figma jolter she's able to bend her legs down a bit uh let's see right here uh sorry for any flash and whatnot so she can try and do because the problem is her skirt kind of blocks it so she's not able to she's not able to do well uh, uh, what's it called a split some of the other figmas can but what's it called because her design of her skirt and whatnot kind of blocks it a little bit but she's able to pop all the way down to like try to this is the one thing I like fake most they're uh, able to like move around so you can actually see right here you can her legs are able to pop in and out no problem at all so she got more free movement on her legs to more rotate and whatnot I can see right here her legs are able to rotate now that's more up and down it's able to go all the way not too much but that's what you can do with how it is legs are able to bend all the way no problem at all uh right here what's it called and her leg right here, able to go all the way up, down, uh, can move sideways a little bit. It's not able to move around, doesn't have, it cannot spin because the way her boots are designed, it can spin if it wants to, but the way her boots are designed kind of is kind of blocking it. Uh, it's kind of blocking it too much, so it can spin if it wants to, but unless you want to break your Figma, which with the price of these and whatnot, I would not recommend it. So try to do not too much of it, but overall the articulation is pretty good. Uh, what's it called? Overall, great Figma figure. Uh, great, uh, pretty good. Loving design. Everything's pretty good. Yeah. And once again, Jolter saying final, fl not final flash. <sighs> and this right here, folks, is the review of my Max Factory figure, uh, Figma, uh, Avenger, Jane Dark Coulter, Shinjuku version. Overall, very great figure. I really do love this. This right here is one of my actually original Figmas that I got all the way back a couple years ago. And for a good, uh, decent price back then. Now, uh, these Figmas, oof, they cost a lot now. Uh, back then, I, I'm pretty sure I got this like around for 45 maybe 50 bucks uh, price price when I got this. Uh, because I did go to a store, so I, now it's probably the whole price stuff that uh, I had to pay for. Overall, um, uh, overall not bad. Probably now it's going to be a little bit more because what's called I don't know if uh, Smile Good Smile Company even remakes these. They probably do every once in a while, but uh, yeah. Overall, figure still great. Articulation is good. Accessory is still pretty great for the price when I got this. I don't know about now. Uh, but what's a cold? Great figure, especially if you are a fan of Fake Grand Order. And you love uh, Jolter. It is a great figure to add to your collection, especially Fate Collection. For me, this is actually a great uh, collectible for me because I have a whole Fate collection <laughs> on mine. It's like next to Gundam, Fate is right there with my collection. So this is a great addition to it. Uh, but with that out of the way, this right here is the review of the uh, Figma uh, Avenger Jane Dark Alter. Uh, thank you for anybody watching. If you would like to read it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And as always, have a great day, folks. This is I, Parr, and I'll see you guys on the next one.